Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Johnson. In tonight's top story, millions of dollars are on the way to law enforcement agencies across Georgia to help fight crime and deal with staffing shortages. Governor Kemp announced over $83 million will go to different agencies in the state, and that includes seven counties in central Georgia. Jessica Child joins us live from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office to tell us what this means for the office. That is right, Lori. $1.6 million is coming to the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, and it's going towards purchasing flock cameras, 150 to be exact. That's what Sheriff David Davis says. Um, flock cameras are the ones that identify license plates and cars to help find suspects in crimes. But I was talking to clergymen today who also help fight violence in the community, and they say that this money can do great things. Take a look. That grant money can go a long way in the community. Former Pastor Donald Miller is just one of 60 faith-based leaders who meet once a month with the mayor to talk about how to make the community better. Crime is always a topic. That's the biggest problem, the gun violence. We see that a lot of teenagers, and we need to try to cut through that and show them that there can't be a better way. For a city so small, it leads the nation in, in crime. Pastor Orlando Shannon leads Overcomers Christian Fellowship in Lithonia, but he grew up in Macon. The crime is very high, and um, I think it's because of a, a loss of love in the heart of the, of the younger people. Shannon knows firsthand. He got shot twice when he was younger. And we're coming from single-parent homes, and so we're literally left to try to raise ourselves. And with that, the first thing we, I did was gravitated to the streets. To address that, Pastor Ralph Cherry of St. John's Baptist Church says they want to help people through God and... No policemen. When the cats are waiting, the mouse will play. The police presence is there, it'll cut down on the crime. Clergy members say the $1.6 million grant the sheriff's office is getting to improve community public safety is a welcomed addition to the fight against crime. The police department and the sheriff's department will have the resources they need. They have to have finances to operate. And to, to receive finances is, is a step up. Sheriff David Davis says they're using the money for 150 new flock cameras to help keep an eye on crime. When you put together the shot spotter, you put together the uh, downtown cameras and now you add the flock cameras to that. Uh, we are really moving very much forward in using technology to keep our community safer. Davis says they've already mapped out where they'll be putting the flock cameras and as soon as the money comes in, they will begin to install them. Live in Macon, Jessica Cha, 13 WMAZ News. Back to you, Lori. Thank you, Jessica. The grants are going to 117 other qualified projects across Georgia. We're taking a closer look at where that money is going here in central Georgia. Washington County and the city of Perry each getting $1.5 million. The city of Dublin with 1.2 and Baldwin County receiving 500,000. Projects range from getting better equipment and technology to employing a canine division, investment in patrol cars and filling positions. Washington County will use their funds to establish the first rural multi-agency mobile response crisis team among six counties.